Hey, this is Pablo Vasquez, and I just wanted to make a quick video showing some of the features that are now in Blender 2.8 regarding collections and view layers. If you're not familiar with that, don't worry, it's a new concept, but you can read all about it in the code blog at the code.blender.org. There's this nice article, view layers and collection, and then you can read about it. What, what are they? Why, why do they even exist? Um, but just to summarize, it's a new way of organizing your scene. In Blender 2.7 and in the past, the objects belong to the scene and that's it. You couldn't put them, you could put them in layers, but like in those little 20 icons, the, the little squares in the header in the 3D view, but it wasn't really great for that. In Blender 2.8, you can put them in collections. Actually, they belong to collections. They belong to the master collection or you can make your own collections and um, the objects can belong to many. It's pretty good. You should read the, the, the blog there. But we needed a way to organize this, to organize, to, to show the collections, which object belongs to what. And the closest thing we had was the, is the outliner, but it needed some tweaks that um, just, just to make it better and perfect and make the outliner great again. So the first thing you will find in, in the header now in the Blender 2.8 um, branch, is that you can filter by by searching just regular um, string search, but you can also filter with this little icon here. You can enable extra filtering. You can, um, if you don't want to see them, you can remove the uh, collections. For example, you should see a flat list of objects. This is similar to what the scene uh, or current scene will be in Blender 2.7. So basically it just doesn't show collections at all. Um, but I recommend to leave that on because it, it gives you a better idea. Then there is also objects. In case you don't want to see the objects, you should see the collection so it's much more clean. You can see the nesting um, of these, these uh, collections much better. Then there is also this wrench icon. It's like a modifier icon. We're working on it. It's not the final design. The, the icons will change. But basically, this allows you to filter out the uh, elements inside that object, which is pretty great, I think, because it, it's so much cleaner. Like, you can see the, the objects only, and you don't have to. Um, you, sometimes you get lost with all the, the elements that are inside. For example, if you have a camera and, and constraints, this is way too much noise sometimes when you just want to see the objects. So with this option, you can just filter them out, and you only see the object, the top level which is pretty good. And there's also, uh, you can filter the children, so you can remove the objects that are that have a parent or not, the children that have a, a parent, for example, you can um, just list them out, which is also nice. Uh, as well, you have this cube icon, which is will change, <laughs> which will pick better ones, but you can also filter by type. In Blender 2.7, for example, if you wanted to see all the lamps, you could select one lamp, and then here from the list, choose same types, and that will show you all the lamps, but as soon as you click away on, I don't know, a camera, then you wouldn't see any more lamps, and that will be that, that is solved now by just filtering by type. So you can, for example, this way with this item, you'd remove all the uh, meshes, you can remove all the rigs, cameras, and everything and pretty much just leave lamps. So here, if I remove the collections, then I only see, in this case, the lamps, which is pretty nice, regardless of what I have selected. Um, this plus icon basically shows up um, when you have other objects that are not this. These are the most common use objects, these um, uh, mesh, armatures, lamps, cameras, and empties. So empties is um, anything from dupli groups or for force fields, for example. And uh, that way you can just have them all, list them all, and last but not least, you can also filter by state. So you can click here, by, by default, this is the visible objects. You can also have the, the selected objects and the active object. So that's also even another layer of selection. This is similar to what you used to have here in the, um, in the header. Um, the, the drop down selection here. I say we used to have because this has been a bit cleaned up. Basically, now you have your layer and you have 
instead of having same types, for example, you can filter here. If instead of having um, active or selected, it's also part of the state here. So um, I think it's all better because that way you have much more control on what you want to see. You also have scenes in case you want to see the scenes and you can also uh, see the passes or if you have, for example, grease pencil data, it will, it will also show there or freestyle, for example. Groups, that hasn't changed. Sequence hasn't changed. These ones over here haven't changed yet, but we're still thinking about it because um, orphan data and data blocks, they are pretty much Blender file stuff. So, but we still have to work on that. We have to work on um, icons as well. We made a call here in, in, in the developer.blender.org. You can check it out. I want to put it in the description somewhere. Um, but basically that's where we are right now. For creating collections and linking collections, you can have this new edit menu, um, but you can also just go to collections and just list them all here. That is pretty much it actually. It's um, very straightforward. I think it's easier um, to, to navigate now to organize your scene with this. Um, thanks to the life of Linter for actually making it happen. Um, this is the first project we have now with the, with working with the UI team and, and Pablo, I'm part of the UI team, um, and working together with the developers just to deciding, like testing things. This has all been developed in the developer.blender.org in a patch. So he will change things there. I will compile Blender. We will have a lot of feedback there and people can get involved. And it, it's a very nice way of, of developing software, the very open way just discussing which one is the best way to go and everything. So I encourage everybody to get involved in that. There is a user interface project in developer.blender.org. So I think that's it. I hope you like this, this kind of review of the work being done there. And I um, hope to make more. Let us know if you like this, this kind of format of sharing news. So that's it. I hope you like it. And uh, I see you around. <laughs>